Did you ever try the watch just to see how it feels and immediately after placing it on the wrist you said this is the one? Well I did and the royal oak is the one. When I have placed it on my wrist for the first time I could feel it light. I could feel that it was already there for such a long time. I was used to it. It was nothing new on my wrist. Even if I had have adjusted it more loose and or more tight, it was the same. It didn't bother me at all. It was like a perfect glove. Don't be fooled about this great intro. The oak has its disadvantages for sure. On fat land, grow fullest weeds. Stay tuned to find out what this watch is capable of. I am sure that you already know the GA-B2100, it's the hexagonal G-Shock and among the watch community it's called the Royal Oak. This nickname comes from its similarity with Audema Piguet. This AP watch is retailed with more than 5000 euros, but our Casio friend is retailed only little above 100 euros. Which one would you choose? So, we see the hexagonal shape with the black display and the dark grey markers. This is a G-Shock feature. It's like Casio, again, especially for the G-Shocks, doesn't want you to read the time correctly. What you see here is just the protective shell, which is secured with these four screws, two on each side. The display is divided in three sections. We have the main analog display, with only two hands, which indicates the hours and minutes. The second section is responsible for showing you the modes that you are in and also the battery level. You know, this is a solar watch. The modes are indicated very well with a red arrow. The third section is a small digital display, which in timekeeping mode it shows the seconds with larger font and with smaller font the time. The strap is made of resin and it's somehow similar to the 5600 series and here with the F91 series, so it's a two-in-one strap. The buckle retainer is here and it's large and it does its job very well. The clasp is wide and it has the Casio logo on the back side here. Still, if we discuss about this strap, we can see that these shoulders are somehow upgraded. We see those spring bars that have the quick release, which is very nice. It's very nice for Casio that lets you choose whatever strap you would like. Just make it sure that it fits. With the quick release feature, you would not want to pay additional money for a watch repair guy to change your strap. This is very nice. Kudos for Casio. So we have seen that cool representation that Casio can offer in their operation guide. You will find it on the internet as well, I will leave the link. But the watch features and the maneuverability of this watch is the same as we are used from Casio. So we have four pusher, the adjust pusher, the light pusher, the start pusher and the mode pusher. This is the timekeeping mode and in timekeeping mode, if we press adjust one time, then we could switch on that small display in between the date, the weekday, the hours, and this is the reminders. This is a feature when it's connected with the phone. If you want to adjust the time, you only have to long press adjust and now you scroll in between the features that you can adjust. So this is the time zone, Bucharest, this is the daylight saving time, it is set up to auto, then come seconds, hours, minutes, uh, year, month, day, 24 hour format or 12 hour format, the format of the date, the language, this is the um, key tones and the light. In this case it is set up to 3 seconds and you have the possibility with uh, start pusher to set up to 1.5 seconds or 3. 
for sure start uh, will uh, increase uh, the value for the time for the hours and minutes pressing again mode uh, this is the the feature that you need to connect it with the phone ps on well this i don't know what it is we will have to check to save the adjustments you only need to press adjust one time and this is set up then still from timekeeping mode if you press light then for sure the light is being activated you see how beautiful it is yes it is and i can tell you now that the loom is very strong the hands you will see them even after eight hours of darkness for sure when it's half past six you would not know which is the small hand and which is the longer one this phone has the possibility to search the phone in case you have lost it all you need to do is from the time keeping mode long press start pusher now it searches for the phone pressing mode once we see the red arrow moving to the world time I will not get in details in regards to this feature then comes the stopwatch the same as we are used for Casio then it's the timer and this is the alarm we have five alarms with the just we enable or disable the alarm and the long pressing alarm we have the possibility to set up the alarm and this is the fifth alarm this is the hourly signal one two three four five alarms the alarms you can also set them and also a bunch of other features from the telephone app which is the casio watch app then this is the type kimpi mode and the red hand would automatically move to the level of the battery we know that this is a solar watch and this and in this case the battery is on the peak so we see the, the level of the battery it's h from high then m would be medium and l it's on low this would be the main features of this watch for sure there is another watch which is cheaper it looks the same but it does not have the bluetooth feature in rest i did not check but i assume would be the same the same features just the red hand would not have uh, the bluetooth uh, specification or the bluetooth um, icon if we switch to the back case yeah it's secured with four screws and beside the information that we are used model and module name casio carbon core quad Pooh, we have a lot of information here and this is somehow related to the bluetooth feature that this watch has i will just briefly show you how to connect it but i would not go in details also about this watch features because there are many if you want to link this royal oak with the cell phone you will need to download casio watches after i have installed the app casio watches this is the home feed we are not interested we will just enter to my watch but prior to that you just need to make sure that you have an account for this we see that i have it already in the history but nevertheless i will do it again we need to hit plus then we need to enter the module name in this case is 5689 we hit next and yes we will choose gab 2100 and click register now we have a pictogram which let us know exactly what we need to do so we need to long press the mode pusher until it's written on the display connect the red arrow will switch to bluetooth and we have linking information also on the display of the watch now the pairing is complete it took around 30 seconds it is the watch that we have it's the first from my list it's written connected and uh, this would be the power level of the battery and here we have a lot of possibilities so we can set up the alarms let's say we enable this we set it up i don't know 8 a.m save and then 
send the setting to the watch and now we have an alarm feature on the display of the watch also in the watch then we can make reminders currently we do not have anything yet set time synchronization here is written in the latest time synchronization normally according to caso it is done four times per day just make sure the watch is near to the phone another good feature we have the manual adjustment of the hands and now what is telling us here we select adjust the time the hands will move to this position if the hands from the watch are not in the same position as we have them on the phone then uh, through the phone i can move left or right until uh, we match the pictogram from the phone with the reality from the watch and then we hit set sending to the watch we have also the phone finder and also some watch setting in regards heat sounds light watch display power saving uh, somehow this would be all the features that this bluetooth casio can offer you Another cool feature of this watch is the fact that you can move the hands until you make the digital display visible. So while long pressing light, you press the mode pusher and the arrows will move into a position that makes visible the rendering of the display. Long pressing mode will exit this feature of this watch. Super, now to come to the conclusion I'm not sure what to say except the fact that this watch is great. I love it. I'm not sure if I am willing to pay this 120 euros for it at this point. Maybe I will gift it to myself later on. It's great. It's, it's definitely a good G-Shock. It's definitely a good watch. It is thin compared to other G-Shocks the display it's not that huge so uh, it does not look chunky i would say that it is what you need except what i do not like i cannot find the pushers each time when i want to press a pusher i intend to press here not close to the middle of this uh, hexagon so in the morning you will uh, never find uh, the pusher to hit the alarm off and also you will never find the pusher to hit the light on but in rest the watch is great it's great i recommend it so in case you have any doubt in regards buying it don't hesitate go to your local retailer and buy it thank you for watching have a nice day